Hi guys, you caught me washing my brushes today. I don't really uh, share this much in my tutorials, but I wanted to go over what kind of brushes I like to use. Um, they're all made in Indonesia, but I do have some that are more of my favorite um, that I get from my paint dealer and I buy them in a box. Um, it's much cheaper than buying the ones from Home Depot. What I notice is the ones from Home Depot's at the very top, they kind of get curly. And, I mean, sometimes it's just different batches. But um, these are my favorite brushes to use. And I usually clean them on my outdoor sink. I'm lucky enough to have an outdoor sink. And I put a little squirt of Dawn in my hand. I like using Dawn. It's just a simple, clean um, soap. And then I take this little bit of soap in my hand. And I rush it through my brush. And then I wipe it out. I really like to keep my brushes a lot longer than one use because there's different ways. It's my style. If I look for the funky brushes on certain techniques, and that's how I get the look that looks super complicated, but it really isn't. I always lay my brushes flat to dry so I don't squash any more of the hairs. And you can see even see all the rust marks on my sink from where the ferrule is, uh, you know, just losing its rust. But that's how I clean my brushes. I always buy them in bulk. And these are the exact same brushes I used on my latest ceiling project, and I just dropped the video today. Get the, just hit the link, and you can see how I painted a whole entire ceiling in barn wood using two brushes. Actually, one brush. <laughs> one brush to paint this entire ceiling. That video is super exciting. You can use it in all kinds of places. You can use it in the backs of bookcases. You can use it on ceilings. You can use it on... Uh, islands that don't have the cupboards on the back side. Um, so it's just go check out the video and you'll see what I'm talking about. Alright guys, make sure you have plenty of chip brushes to get your magic done. <laughs>